Walt Disney Educational Media Company presents Winnie the Pooh and the Right Thing to Do, in which Pooh learns not to endanger others. Now, one fine day, while Winnie the Pooh was home, doing nothing in particular, it occurred to him that different kinds of days are good for doing different kinds of things. For example, Some days are good for staying indoors, Pooh thought. Perhaps this is one of those days. But as Pooh looked out the window, he said, And some days are good for being outdoors for taking a stroll, for playing games, or for humming a hum. Every day is a hum-diggity day. So Pooh began to hum. <laughs> Humming makes me feel good and hungry. I have a rumbly in my tumbly for some honey. And so, this is a good day for visiting my dear friend, Rabbit. Rabbit always has plenty of delicious honey. And so Pooh could see no reason to delay another minute, and he set out for Rabbit's house. But no sooner had he stepped out the door when... Uh-oh, said Pooh. That's not the sound of the breeze in the trees, said Pooh. It's the sound of my sign, and it doesn't sound good. And it doesn't look good either, said Pooh, uh, trying to look at the situation from every angle. It gave him something to think about. Think, think, think. Oh, bother. This is too much for a bear of very little brain, especially from here. Perhaps today is a good day for fixing my sign. On the other hand, I do have this rumbly, and Rabbit always has good honey and says nice things like, Would you like some lunch, Pooh? Yes, today is definitely a good day for visiting Rabbit. I'll fix the sign later. For Rabbit, today was a good day for working in his garden. For hoeing and seeding and raking and weeding. A sprinkler here, a weed there. Turn the soil, rake and hoe, and maybe just a seed or two. <laughs> if I say it myself, this will be a lovely garden. Oh, you don't have to say it yourself, Rabbit. I'll say it too. Oh, hello, Pooh. Nice morning, isn't it? It's already noontime, Rabbit. Lunch time. I'm not hungry. Uh, goodbye, Pooh. But I am very hungry, Rabbit, and I couldn't help noticing how hard you are working. Isn't it time to take a break for, say, lunch? Absolutely not, Pooh. I'm very busy. Can't it wait until tomorrow? I was so hoping we could have a delicious lunch. Oh, no, Pooh. Uh, some things cannot be put off until tomorrow, or, or even later. If I procrastinate, there'll be no garden. And if there's no garden, there'll be nothing to eat. Nothing at all, uh, practically. Except for your delicious honey. Uh, Pooh, uh, I'm busy. I can't stop now. I... Aren't you going to say something nice, Rabbit? Like, how about some lunch? If I don't finish, I... Oh... Very well, Pooh. Uh, would you like some lunch? A quick lunch? Don't mind if I do. Uh, thank you, Rabbit. I can't understand how you can eat so much, Pooh. I'll never understand it. Mm, there's something I don't understand, Rabbit. Uh, you said if I procrastinate, there'll be no garden. Mm. Yes, Pooh, and it's true. What is? If I procrastinate, there'll be no garden. 
Uh, I have one question, Rabbit. Yes, Pooh? What do you do when you procrastinate? Nothing, Pooh. That's just it. When you procrastinate, you don't do what you're supposed to do. And that's not fair to yourself or to other people. When you procrastinate, you put off doing things that shouldn't be put off. Like fixing a sign that's dangling over my front door? Is there a sign dangling over your front door, Pooh? Yes, Rabbit. Have you seen it? I can't say I have, Pooh. Well, you should see it. It's hanging funny. Mm. Like that picture you have on your wall. You should fix it right away, Pooh. It could fall off and hurt someone. Hurt someone? Yes, Pooh. I never thought of that, Rabbit. Well, think about it, Pooh. I will, Rabbit, later. I'm so full now from the wonderful lunch you fixed for me that I can hardly do anything except maybe go home. So Pooh decided to go home straight away. He had eaten a great deal, so it was difficult for him to walk. Oh, yes, I have filled my tumbly. Thank you, Rabbit. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye, Pooh. Yes, this is a humdiggity day. A good day for... for... fixing signs. Hello there, Pooh, old chap. Hello, Owl. If you have a minute, Pooh, I'd like to share some honey cake with you. It's fresh from the oven. Did I hear you say honey cake? Yes, Pooh. Fresh honey cake. I'll be right up, Owl. It'll be a good day for fixing signs later. Mmm, Owl. <laughs> that looks like a honey of a cake. Very good, Pooh. A honey of a cake. <laughs> it's an old family recipe. My grandmother once won third prize for it in a baking contest. Uh, congratulations, Owl, uh, to your grandmother. Uh, may I taste it? Of course, Pooh, of course. I would say that honey cake deserves first prize. Whew, I couldn't eat another bite, even if there were another bite. Uh, thank you, Owl. Uh, now, I must be getting home to see about my sign. Your sign, Pooh? It's hanging like this, Owl. I've been meaning to fix it today, but I just can't seem to get around to it. A dangling sign can be dangerous, Pooh. It can, Owl? Yes, Pooh, it can. That's what Rabbit said, too. My advice to you, Pooh, is to go home and fix your sign before it's too late. I want to do it, but my tumbly is so full I can hardly move. But I will, Owl. Uh, uh, thank you. You're welcome, Pooh. Goodbye. So Pooh continued on his way home. I wish I had Christopher Robin's balloon. Then I could hold tight to the string and float home. Uh, no walking at all. I think I'll sit down under this tree for a minute and rest. I'll fix my sign later. Oh, oh, oh. And before long, Pooh was fast asleep. And he dreamed a dream about a bright sunny day when he and all his friends were out to play. Look who's coming. It's Pooh. Hello, Hello Pooh. Pooh. Hello. May I play with you? We hear you have a dangling sign, Pooh. You do, Owl? Where did you hear that? You told us, Pooh. I did? I guess I did. Uh, well, may I play with you? Don't be silly, Pooh. You know what you have to do first. I do? 
Yes. Uh, first, you must take care of your sign. You must not procrastinate. Oh, yes. Oh, there's that word again. I'll fix my sign later. I'll get that. What a good hit, Rabbit. Oh, it's going very far. And with one mighty groan, the sign fell. Oh, no, Piglet! <gasps> Piglet! Piglet, please get up. But Piglet did not get up. Please, Piglet. Piglet, I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. That's what happens when you put things off, Pooh. Yes, Pooh. I promise I'll fix my sign, Piglet. I won't wait until later. I'll do it now. Just get up. Perhaps we should call Christopher Robin. He'll know what to do. Yes, yes, Owl. Quick, let's get Christopher Robin. Let's get Christopher Robin. Hmm, there's an echo in this dream. I heard it too, Pooh. Look, here comes Christopher Robin. What's happened? Owl says you need my help. Oh, Christopher Robin, it's terrible. My sign has fallen off. Look, it's Piglet. Yes, it is. He's, he's... Oh, Rabbit, don't even say it. Say what, Pooh? That Piglet is... Piglet! Phew, that was c -c -c close Will you help me lift this sign so I can get my scarf? Oh, Piglet, you all right? I'm so glad, Piglet. I'm so glad too, Pooh. Now I understand what Owl and Rabbit were telling me about procrastinating. There are some things you should never put off until later. It isn't fair, especially to other people. And I'll never be unfair to you again. And I won't be unfair to you either, Pooh. Pooh? Are you awake? <laughs> Am I awake? <laughs> That's a good question, Piglet. Piglet! Owl said you needed some help fixing your sign. And since I didn't have anything to do, I thought I could help you. Let's go right now, friend Piglet. Let's not put it off another minute. Isn't this a lovely day, Pooh? Yes, indeed. A hung diggity day. 